I'm excited about this class because when we went into it, we felt like we needed to uh, address our offensive line, and we certainly needed to address our depth issues uh, when it came to the secondary and the linebackers' positions. In the offensive line, we needed immediate help, and, and uh, fortunately the university allowed us to go out and find the, the, the best uh, junior college guys available. We were able to get a kid by the name of Ryan Taylor from Tyler, Texas, a junior college player there, an outstanding guard, and Eddie Williams from right here at Mount San Antonio College, all, albeit by way of Hawaii. I think both those guys have the size and strength right now to come compete at this level. And then we landed four freshman offensive linemen that I'm really thrilled about. Uh, Stan Hasiak from Hawaii, a much heralded guy who was with us, then went to Cal and came back. Um, Xavier Suafilo, a tackle from uh, Provo, Utah, uh, who went down to the wire and fortunately we, uh, decided to, to wear the UCLA uniform. Nick Abel, an offensive lineman from Irvine, California, who I think is going to be an unbelievable tackle, although he may play a little defensive end and see how he does there. And then Greg Capella from Visalia, California, a 300-plus guy who also can handle the point of Zach inside. I'm really excited about that. In the secondary, I thought we did some great things uh, with our safeties. We got uh, Stan McKay from Long Beach Poly, I think an outstanding player, a kid by the name of Dalton Hilliard from Punahou High School in Hawaii, who's multifaceted. He can play on either side of the ball, but I think he may end up playing safety. Alex Mascarenas from Mission Viejo, a youngster that uh, can play corner or safety, a very smooth, agile guy. Uh, Brandon Sermons from Diamond Ranch, a guy that I think also has the versatility to play corner or safety. And then two bona fide corners, Sheldon Price from Bishop Amat. Uh, who's the son of Dennis Price, a former corner here who played five years in the NFL, and Marlon Pollard, a youngster who was with us, then went to Notre Dame, and then came back with us, and we're thrilled that he did. So I like that group. At linebacker, uh, you know, I, we, we started with Todd Golper, who I think will end up being a Mike, uh, great, you know, nuts and uh, grind it out type linebacker, a throwback, if you will, from Arcadia High School. We got uh, Isaiah Bowens, kind of a new guy to football, but such an athlete that you can't pass him up because uh, he, he's uh, just that, that gifted uh, from Bishop Ahmad. A uh, kid by the name of Tani Maka from Long Beach, Jordan. A uh, wonderful, wonderful guy that uh, I think is gonna be a, a, you know, a guy that we're gonna know his name by the time this all, things, uh, this all comes out. And then Jared Coster, a, a guy who just kinda happened on the scene at the end. We had a, a guy fall out of the, uh, the nest so we went to the next best guy that we thought on the list, and I, I don't know that he's next best. I think he, we just found him a little later because I think he's gifted. He's from Norco High School, and I think people are going to notice him when he plays. Uh, so it's an exciting group.